Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Massive Chalice. It has been a while since I've played, so... Hopefully, I haven't forgot how to do this. I know you gotta click this button though. That is the start. There we go, Garrus. Gosia, regent of the Tower of Cocytus, has died. 63 years old. Oh boy, okay. That can't be good. Cause she's infertile, and everybody else Actually, he's infertile. And everybody else... No. Yeah, yeah, he, he. Everybody else is a miner. Can I just leave it? Can I just leave it uninhabited? I guess I can. So what we'll do is we'll look in like five years, four years, when the other one comes of age. Ultra Elixir being resurged. 59, 40. All of my Sage Rites seem to die at the same time. Let's see. Oh boy, who do we got here? So I we have enough people that we can really just go for kind of the kind of the best. Except you is I believe the wielder of one of our bows, and the walrus is kind of kind of the character I was looking to put in the in the crucible. Let's see. How about this guy? I can't really exactly remember. Lower intelligence, increased strength, movement is reduced after sprinting. I think we could get rid of this guy. He's often drunk. Okay, let's go ahead. That sounds good. He's level four. That's not very high, actually. Okay, boom, go. You're in, baby. Enjoy your time. All right, there's 134. So we're looking at about 137. see the training courses this one had set up with the hot coal wall and the whaling ram. Now, I'm not sure whether I should be surprised by this passing or not. Okay. So now we're looking at... This is the guy I was planning on using for a standard. Look at that. 247 per year. Of course, we have you only at 168. Wow. So that's a quite a difference. I was planning on using the walrus here. He's 52. He should last for a while. You're in. I'm not worried about our combat capabilities. He was our, high, our highest level character, but I'm not too worried about dying in combat here. Ultra Elixir. Can't remember what that was. So should we do another Crucible? That's the other question. Armor, armor. Armor, armor. Armor, armor. So, weapons. I mean, crossbows make a lot of sense. Witcher kills. 17 years. Still no point to alchemy training. We have no alchemists. Uh, what's Fataliband? Capital. Supposedly promote good health for the wearer. Steady hander is, I believe, aim. Small accuracy bonus. Perilous core. Explosive capabilities portable. Self-detonating stone for the risk-prone hero. That sounds really... Risky, as they say. Haste bridge. Movement range. That could be handy. That could be handy. Though I kind of want to try to discover new heroes to get more alchemists. All right, let's do that. Screw it. Let's let's do it. Screw it. Once that kicks off, we'll see if we can put an alchemist in this open keep. Because I am really tired of not having alchemists. A ruler's work is never done. We wouldn't bring it up if it wasn't important. Hamish O'Dubgale apologizes for waking you, but this matter couldn't wait. It seems the marriage to Kaylin O'Dubgale hasn't been going too well recently, and Hamish just doesn't see things working out for much longer. They're both in the capital today for a briefing on region statuses. What do you do? Talk with them? Send Paul O'Dubgale to talk with them. I wonder why Paul. Tell Hamish not to worry that these things happened and it's all, it'll all blow over. So we got Kaylin. She's 28. Kind of, kind of stupid. Slow learner. Ugh. Not a great character. Hamish is 40. Increased sight range, also not very intelligent. Decreased accuracy. Hmm. And then we got Paul. 
<laughs> All the Yo dubs are not very intelligent. Dim-witted. Not good. None of these characters are particularly impressive. We're going to talk with them. Stick with ruling. You speak about how the nation needs them to stay together, and everything they're doing is for the greater good. But today you aren't at your most eloquent, so everything comes out as either cliché or pandering. Still, you manage well enough that they agree to stay married for the people. They've gained the passionless trait. Decreased fertility due to life without passion. Oh, how sad. Okay, that's fine. Like I said, we have so many characters at this point, I'm not worried about it. A small group of chalice-attuned citizens have been found and added to our heroic roster. Did we get a fertile alchemist? That is the question. Is it this guy? Is it is it her? 69? 70? 78? Did they really give us characters that are that old? Or are they these? Caberjack, Caberjack, Hunter, Hunter. Oh my god. I think that's them right there. So once again, no alchemists. Absolutely unbelievable. Hmm. Okay. I'm really getting irritated by that. Like, come on. How, what the heck? Five guys, you can't give me one alchemist. The last time they gave me two and they were both infertile. With some research we could, uh, maximum health. That's probably not a bad idea. The haste bridge is the one that appeals to me, though. Or the haste hooch, I should say. Oh, man. Cadence is invading. Alright, what do we got? So we got two corruption over here already. And we got zero over here. So we're definitely going on this side. No doubt about it. How are we doing? Over here. Rain Tiong. She's 15. She starts at level 6. Wow. That's pretty good. Who's the guy with... There's the long winner. So he is equipped with a special weapon. That's Ben. And here's the furrowed brow. So those are our two... Our two weapons. Two special weapons. Alright. How is Rain? Let's check him out. Details. Decreased strength. I don't think that really matters for an archer. Dexterity is good. Armor is a little reduced. That's fine. Increased. Okay. We can take that guy. So we got him. Nice and young. I clicked the wrong one. Whenever I see this three here, for some reason, I it looks to me like that's with Ben. But it's on the banner. Which is tricky for me for some reason. Knockback arrow. Honed hearing. You know, this is not... I don't like this very much. You have to literally move into point-blank range. Let's go with the hearing. Gain a bonus to max hit points and immunity to knockback effects. I do like this blinding shot, too. Okay, let's stick with that. Personally, if your archers are being attacked, you're doing something wrong. That's just the way I look at it. Push. He's got the hinterland, so that's a special... whatchamacallit? Caber. Wunderpants. Okay, that's our chick that carries kind of the... He's got him too. Okay, let's see what else we got over here. This guy's got Ultra Elixir. Which is Sponge Stone. Yeah, that lets you regenerate health when you hit stuff. So we'll stick with the Elixirs. That looks pretty good. Deploy. It's a fine day for battle, all things considered. Every day is a fine day for battle. Alright. So, I'm pretty much going stealth mode, and we're just going to advance as fast as possible. We can see some movement here and here. Okay, we'll keep our, keep our melee guys back. I do frequently find myself trying to tab over to new characters and start moving my next one. That guy's drunk. Nice. Oops. Just kidding. Good stuff. I'm thinking I, I just want to check the right side. It looks like that's the edge of the map. Right there, I think. 
But I want to clear it out just because the AI is not very smart. And I don't want to double back. <gasps> wow. Out of sight, they did that. Okay, so we got more Twitchers. This is good. I We haven't seen these Twitchers for so long. Holy moly, I think they took both of my cabers. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Bunch of seeds, that's fine. They can hit us all day and pretty much do nothing, so. Holy shnikes. That's not good. That is not good. We have the knockback shot. What is here? That must be the other one, okay. And this guy, what kind of attacks do we have here? We got the blinding shot. That's what we're gonna need to use here. Okay, let's go here. We're gonna use the blinding shot. Try to buy us some time. Can we go like this? Don't have a shot there. Okay, I'm a little worried about that. Why can't I see this? I'm a little worried about that. Let's see, this guy's got charge. But he's not going to be able to run into anything. That's the problem. Pretty smart of the AI, actually, to hit my um, my melee guys with that uh, teleport attack. All right, what I want to do is move. I want to get a line of sight to whatever's here. Let's see. So if we charge from this guy, we should be good from here. Okay, so there we go. Eyes on move. Hold on. Try the knockback. Okay, that's fine. I'm totally fine with not doing much damage there. What I wanted to do is get them close enough that a blinding shot would hit them both reliably. I wasn't sure. I was not sure. Let's see if it would have worked where the guy originally was at. So let's go here. We're going to try to charge down there. Nice. Good stuff. Okay. I like that. I like that a lot. Now, what can we do from where we're at over here? 23 hit points, so pretty good. This guy is beat up, but should be safe, I think. So really what I just need to do here is get close enough. Just need to get close enough so that we can... Ooh, don't want to do that. Crud. Didn't plan that well, very well. Okay. So we'll run down here. I think that's best. Alright. Seeds. Gonna come in. Do pretty much nothing. Stunned himself on the rebound armor. So that's good. We do gotta beware of these seeds up here because our archer is so low on that side. So that's... Not good. They could probably do enough damage to kill him. Alright, now we need to find a way to, to take these guys out. Let's see. Looking at 19 to 24 damage. So the question is, if this guy moves out of the way, will the melee character be able to reach that Twitcher? And I'm thinking yes. Alright, so let's go here take a shot at the guy in the back. This guy's drunk, too. But it doesn't matter. Archers are just too good. <laughs> oh, they're so good. Alright. Wow, look at the damage. With a 100% chance to do max damage. That's pretty good. Alright, how do we want to handle this? I think we want to pull this guy back. Kill the Twitcher at point blank. Puts a little space between him and the seeds. And then with this dude... I'm gonna move here so that when we attack this guy, we come in from his side. See, if I attack him out right from here, it's gonna be the corner. I wanna line him up so he hits one of his friends. So let's go like this. Does it let me do that? Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Look at that. That's efficiency right there, guys. That is efficiency. Tap dead 
The Twitchers are scary. I think they're really the only legitimate threat in the game. So, and the and the Wrinklers. The Wrinklers are a threat when you don't have the Wunderpants. Okay, let's uh, move over here. Finish this guy off. That's good stuff. All right. Whoops. And should have a shot from right here. Loose. Easy peasy. All right, so we should be good. Let's go ahead and stealth stealth mode here. I'm assuming we're gonna have to cross this land bridge over here. Looks like we're all blocked up over here. Gotta level up. Prime target. Taunt all visible enemies to attack this hero and gain a temporary armor boost. Or slam the caber into the ground to damage all nearby characters. What does the other one have? Prime target. Okay, so let's give her the log jam. Good stuff. I'm tempted to get crazy and uh, I don't I can't even charge. I was gonna say I'm tempted to charge, just run down there and see what happens. I mean that oh god, all these archers are drunk and they're still not they're still not missing. Alright. I'll do it. You don't wanna come in here. Look at that. So, <laughs> I've done such a good job of facilitating our family members. We got the Odub family, which are all, all a bunch of dimwits. And we got the Tiongs, which are all a bunch of alcoholics. That's pretty, pretty solid. We got another Twitcher? We do. Oh man. scares me that he he can do the twitch and then immediately attack. Of course, he, glan he did a glancing blow, so that's kind of... doesn't really matter, but... Alright, fire. We're gonna do a, we're gonna do a charge here. Prepare the charge! Charge! I get nice. way too excited about this. Stunned him. That's, uh... Can't beat that. Oh man, I I just find myself wishing I had played on brutal mode. I think that I think that even um, I think even hard mode wouldn't have been enough. Because really, the the uh, I I can't imagine the battles being much difficult, more difficult. Maybe more numbers, something like that. That sucks. So this character here was it not? Was it not that one? Was it this one? He's impressionable. So he um, his pers personality is strongly influenced by other heroes in combat. He picked up Reveller, so now he's an alcoholic. <laughs> that sucks. That is unfortunate. But that's okay. It doesn't really seem to be doing much to us. Though, I wonder if it will hurt us more on a melee character than it will with the archers. It should be the other way around. It should really kill an archer, you would think. But, uh, it doesn't seem to be working that way. I just charged right in. Screw it. Bring it on. So this will be interesting to see what the Twitcher does, because if it picks my Kaber here in this situation, that would be very odd to me. Like, it would be a waste. Oh, look at this. They're setting up the log jam. He might be. He's blocked. Wow. Ah, uh, log jam. Hmm. It is only the two adjacent tiles, though. Alright. Oh. <laughs> cool. So it knocks them back into the enemies as well. So, that's nasty. That is nasty. Loose! Look at that. 
So much damage. That guy can't do anything for us. Might be able to get a shot with one of our archers. Looks like rain. Except I would rather get it with Ben because he's got the... He's out of range. Can't reach. Okay. I was going to say I'd rather get it with Ben because he's got that special weapon. So we could level it up, but... That's alright. I thought that was going to be the last one. Like, watch this. This is fearless right here. <laughs> is this a bad idea? It seems like a terrible idea. And I don't have my log jammer. Ah, uh, screw it. I did it. I have to I have to go through with it now. I don't want to sissy out. Bring it. Bring it, everybody. Let's do it. It's a big brawl. I mean, unfortunately, that's... I'm just not... I'm not worried. I'm not worried. Delacroix can carry herself. She'll be fine. That's an awesome name, actually. Delacroix. I like that. Okay. Bring it on, everybody. Too bad she doesn't have a log jammer now, because I feel like there's going to be, like, five or six guys around her. I think I would like a counter attack mechanic. Look at this. So we had all those enemies here, but none of them apparently advanced. Very strange. Knockback. See, look at that. They didn't even move. Makes no sense. I just realized she's got a knockback naturally on her her weapon, so I don't even know if that's really makes sense to give her a ram cap, but it doesn't really matter, I guess. I like the look of this guy's weapon. If, if you played Final Fantasy VII, that kind of reminds me of one of Sid's weapons. There it is. Right? Didn't he have a weapon like that? Three damage to an archer. Not enough. Alright, so they lined up two more people so we can go like this. Two more kills. Actually, that did more damage than it did with the knockback ability, so... Maybe the ram cap's just the way to go, in general. You appear to be dead. Maha. We're not even seeing glancing blows anymore, either. It's pretty, pretty nuts. So maybe I didn't do a, a terrible, terrible job with our characters. I don't know. I really did try to stick with good traits in our castles, but... Damn, knockback. Alright, let's go ahead. Let's take this guy with Ben. Boom. That's it. Okay. Wow. I was worried for a little bit, but So we did pretty well. Delacroix getting nine kills. Rain got four, and look at how much more experience. I was thinking she's got all heroes kill XP. I don't know. That's interesting. Maybe just because she's a lower level? No, they're the same level. Maybe he maybe Rain got the Twitchers? I think Delacroix did kill mostly seeds. So, good stuff. Chalk up another W. That clears the cadence, or the corruption from that one keep, so it's even between those two now. That's good. There it is. And that's going to do it for this episode of Massive Chalice. Thanks for watching, as always. Leave me a comment below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next episode.